Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, if you're watching this video, then you probably are kind of like me, and you watch lots of YouTube videos, and lots of those videos are about guns and ammunition and all kinds of related stuff. And uh, I was watching a video before, and uh, it's not the first one I've seen on this topic, but it's just the latest. And uh, the person mentioned how they don't basically how there are two kinds of people that are kind of detrimental to the shooting sports. And he said those people are scalpers and uh, hoarders. So the scalpers, he said, are people who buy up ammunition and sell it for a profit. Those are one kind of people. The second kind of people are the hoarders. Now, he didn't say too much about the hoarders, just kind of kind of more about the scalpers, but kind of hinted that the hoarders are not a really good thing. And I've seen other people, you know, criticize people who hoard ammunition. Um, you know, it's gotten a lot of neg negative connotations to hoard. Like, if you remember early, you know, last year, um, people were going out to the supermarket and they were maybe buying a few extra cans of soup or a few extra cans of vegetables or whatever. They wanted to make sure they were buying extra food, so they had it in their house, because if you remember, a lot of places had bare shelves in the supermarkets. And they were saying that there wasn't food because people were hoarding. Well, I bought a little extra, but not much extra. And the reason why I didn't get much extra is because I already had it, because I prepare for bad times. Um, you know, the same people who are criticizing the hoarding were criticizing it because they didn't have any. Well, they didn't have their first choice of things. And the reason why is because they would criticize people who, you know, like to prep and save things and uh, buy extra and stock up on things. And uh, basically uh, what happened was that the preppers who, you know, buy extra food, extra ammunition, things like that, were kind of proven right that if bad stuff happens, they're going to have it. Whereas the people who said, well, why are you buying, you know, a, you know, a case of uh canned corn, you don't need a case of canned corn, just buy one or two. Well, guess what? They kind of looked at people like me crazy and said, you could just go to the store and buy it. And I said, what happens if there's a day when you can't? And they just couldn't fathom the possibility. Same thing with ammunition. Uh, well, guess what? Uh, people like you and I, probably you, uh, were proven correct. And uh, these liberal leaning people were proven wrong. Surprise, surprise. Now, that doesn't surprise me too much, but kind of does surprise me is people in, you know, in the uh, gun community who uh, have a problem with people who hoard ammunition, as I like to put it. I don't really like to call it hoarding because hoarding kind of has a negative connotation. Uh, I, call, I kind of call it being prepared and doing the far, the smart uh, financial thing. Uh, you know, I, I purchased a bunch of ammunition before and People said, well, what do you purchase all that ammunition for? And I said, well, to have it because you're only one tragic situation or one election away from not being able to get stuff. Now, in the last year or two, again, we've had some pretty um, crazy things happen that I probably wouldn't have really seen on the horizon. But I still prepared for it, and I'm, a, I'm ahead of the game on stuff. So I was kind of going down a list of like different calibers I have in different rounds. So, you know, there are some calibers that I don't have much of anything. Like, I have, like, seven rounds of 25 ACP, and I have, like, 100 rounds of 32 ACP. Like, not much at all. But then, like, other calibers, I'm a lot more prepared in, like, 22, as you can see by looking ahead of you. Um, and with those calibers that I prepared for, I bought them a lot cheaper than what they are now. So, right there, I saved money. I bought, I bought a lot of these rounds of ammunition at like four cents a piece for 22. I paid, you know, sometimes like 20 bucks for a box of, uh, of 500 or 525 rounds of ammunition. Uh, I think this, I think this box of Winchester, this 333 rounds, I think I might have paid like 15 bucks for it. Uh, not $15 now. I haven't seen that particular box for sale, but um, the bulky ammo I used to get for like 3.8, 3.9 cents a piece. You well, know, now it's going for like, Six and a half, seven cents, if I'm lucky. Uh, the standard velocity, I think I might have paid about uh, two twenty-five a box for that ammunition. Um, so if you're figuring about maybe four and a half cents a round for that, today was at uh, it was at Walmart and it was selling for 
I think 456 or something for 50 rounds. So, you know, you add sales tax to that. You're talking 10 cents a round for standard velocity, plain old CCI. Now, today's market, that's not a terrible price, but it's not as good as paying like, you know, four or five cents a round. So, I mean, everything has doubled. We are looking at 8% inflation, uh, annual inflation from the latest numbers. But if you look at a lot of the things you purchase, they're greater than 8%. We're looking at increased commodities prices. You might have seen some of my old videos where I mentioned that. Prices for brass and copper and lead, it's all rising. Uh, primers, can you find them? I can find them occasionally, but I'm not paying the prices they want for them. No way in hell. Not doing it. Uh, I, I'm hearing, I haven't shopped for gunpowder lately, but I'm hearing gunpowder prices are way up. I know some reloading supplies are way up, so it looks like ammunition is not coming down. That makes me happy that I prepared, I thought ahead, and I made financially sound decisions. So, basically, I just want to sum this up and uh, ask you a, a question or two. Um, are you one of these people that would be referred to as a hoarder because you bought more ammunition than you needed, and then you saved that ammunition? And then even when you didn't really need it, maybe you picked up an extra box here and an extra box this box there just to kind of add to all the rounds you needed. Did you do that? Because you know what? If you did that and you were in front of me, I'd give you a pat on the back and a high five. Good for you. Because you know what? No one's paying your bills and, and buying your ammunition for you. You are. And you need to find the best way to save it. Now, some people are complaining and saying, well, there are people who don't need it who are buying it. Or they might say, well, there are people who are buying it and selling it for uh, for more than they paid. Well, I got to tell you, I don't care. I really don't care. And that's because I have my ammunition. I wasn't, you know, whining, complaining about it before. And if somebody wants a crazy price for it, I'm just not going to buy it. And guess what? If there were more people like me and you who bought it, who thought ahead and, and stocked up, all those uh, so-called scalpers who are charging two and three times the price for, uh, for ammunition, they'd be out of business because people would say, I'm not buying that. That's insane. Wouldn't be happening. They'd be out of business. No demand for their overpriced uh, stuff. I mean, if you have 9 millimeter, you paid 18 cents a round for, are you going to go pay them three, four times as much? I don't think so. So we, we would have wiped that part out. Uh, as far as the hoarders go, well, these people who like to complain, if they had thought ahead and stocked up, you know, they'd have it now. Now, of course, I don't go shooting as much as I'd like to, but, you know, I, I, I still go fairly regularly. But, you know, that's kind of what we're we're stuck in right now. So I just kind of wanted to voice my, uh, my view on that, that uh, if you are, quote-unquote, hoarding ammunition good for you. You did a good job and you did what you had to do to not only for your recreation and your practice, but to protect yourself and protect your family and do what you need to do to stay prepared. And you know what? I admire that. Keep it up. And you know what? Have a good day.